If we crash yeah. and I got to get the guy out, if worse comes to worse, I got to lift him up and yeah. put him on my shoulders. This is life and death. Today on Walk With History, I am here with John Hill, a docent here at the Pueblo Air Museum, and we're going to talk a little bit about this F-15. Okay. This F-15 is a true combat veteran. Uh, in January 28th, oh, wow. it shot down a MiG-23 over Iraq in Desert Storm. How cool. Very top gun. <laughs> Very top gun. <laughs> Actually, it was sort of a, a, a comical way mm -hmm. that this happened. Uh, when you go to flight school, you will learn what everything does in this cockpit. Every switch, every circuit breaker, every dial, and some things are powered by different things, so you will learn how to fly without those things getting yeah. power. So you can learn how to fly your aircraft if you lose, if you have a power failure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm very, <laughs> it's like, and they're not comfortable. No. So if you can imagine sitting on metal for, for me, eight hours straight. Yep. It's a lot of times when I would fly, I would bring a cushion to sit yep. on. I'd also bring a lumbar support yep. because you're sitting and it's flat and it's metal. Yep. I mean, this has a nice little uh, wool thing. Yeah, on. That, that came about, about uh, 1993 or so. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened was when Desert Shield started, the Air Force realized they didn't have enough F-15s and fighter pilots, so they formed a composite group, and they went to uh, Spangalum and Bitburg, and they borrowed like four airplanes from this squadron, four airplanes from this squadron, four airplanes from this squadron, they, and about five, six pilots. They had a composite maintenance group. Uh, so this was down at Insulik, Turkey. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. I'm interested. So they were in um, uh, a combat air patrol, and the. talk about this a lot so being a female in aviation cockpits are built for men yes right and so most women have to have a stature of a man so yep. and these are built for certain size and certain weight yep. especially if you're in an ejection seat right now the ACs 5 the Collins ACs 5 as well as the uh, the Martin Baker grew 16s and 17s actually have a dial on the side you can dial a weight in to adjust the rocket thrust to get you a wider span. That's cool. So basically, things have been more uh, adapted yes. to the different size. But at the mm. time, especially when I came in, they're not adapting cockpits no. to women because no. you're like you're flying in what they've got. That's it. Right. AWACS calls them up, and by this time, Saddam Hussein is trying to save as many aircraft as he could, mm -hmm. so he's flying them into Iran. Okay. And so the AWACS called up the flight and said, we've got four MiG-23s trying to go to Iran. So this pilot advanced the throttles, then remembered I got to jettison my tanks. Okay. So he hit the jettison button. The three tanks came off. Mm -hmm. The one on this station swung up and chopped about three feet off the wingtip. Oh my gosh. Goes into afterburner, finds the guys, and he fires four AIM-7 Sparrows, four AIM-7Ms at the target. The first three, they have no clue where it went. Uh. The fourth one hit the target and he got his MiG kill. The AWACS calls him up. He still has four AIM-9 Sidewinders and says, we've got another one for you to go after. <laughs> and the guy says, I'm bingo fuel, I gotta get back. So he punches the tanker on the In this ejection seat, usually there's handles here, are there handles no, here, or just no, handles? Just, just between just your, his legs, your knees. Okay. So if you remember in Top Gun, he pulls well, here. Well, he's flying a Martin Baker. Yep. This and then, is a Collins. Okay. So Martin Baker, their signature is above the head. Yep. And even now they've done away with it. Really? Right. The only thing I remember good about above the head is because you really want to get your head back when you yep. eject, and it kind of helped you to remember. And that's to also do that. because the face curtain in, when you pull it down, that will cover your helmet yeah. and keep you pinned there. Yes, yeah. Um, so I always tell people when you eject, you're sitting on a rocket. 
Yep. And so it's just where that rocket's going to take you. You also fly, usually, I don't know if they still do this, but uh, shin straps that yeah. buckle into the ejection seat. Yeah. Uh, the famous one is the 104. Mm -hmm. That's a Stanley seat that actually the pilot wore spurs. Yes. And it would retract his feet in yes. in an ejection. So I remember in the F-14 I had the, because I had a, I knew somebody who, when they ejected, one failed. Yeah. And it, because your your legs are tied into the, the to, to the seat, his leg from the knee down blew yeah. up in front of his face. So he basically broke his knee and yeah. broke. So, because you're sitting on a rocket. And the newest Martin Baker actually has a hand that comes up and grabs the top of your head. How amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's yeah. firing his four missiles. Yeah. They never know what happened to the other three. They don't no. know what they hit. <laughs> no. and, and the AIM-7, because it's a radar-guided missile, yes. uh, if the radar loses communication, these yeah. go inert, these oh. go dumb. Okay, and then it just uh, will just hit the ground. wherever somewhere. they go. Yeah. And so, that's it. So okay. figured in uh, January of 91. And this is like the flight suit they would wear. Yeah, so this, this is, is period Yeah. Period uniforms. And this is still kind of typical today. He's wearing yeah. a G suit. Yeah. So that's an inflatable suit that's going to help you pull Gs. And yeah. as you pull Gs, it's going to inflate tighter and tighter. Yeah. I actually flew in an F-14. Right. So you're going to feel as the Gs come on. And it, it's from your waist down because it pushes the blood back yeah. up into your brain. And they actually say women can pull G's better than men. Yeah. And for no other reason, because our hearts are a little closer to our brains. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but then you also have positive pressure under G's. Yes. The PPG suit. Mm -hmm. And so you have, you still have your, your legs, yes. but now you have a, yes. uh, a suit up here that also inflates. Yes, because so. in the helicopter, we're more used to the positive Gs. Right. So when you're going to do this alley-oop kind of maneuver, and you feel it more on like roller coasters and stuff, where right. you feel the blood go to your brain quicker, and you get that kind of euphoric feeling kind of okay. quickly. So it's the same thing. It's kind right. of pushing the blood away so you're not, okay. again, losing consciousness in okay. some way. You don't want a uh, pilot to lose consciousness. <laughs> so. Neat. I got to go in the cockpit. <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> so we'll go over to the 16 over here. Okay. Oh, Hunter, the kill makes you stronger. 